Hi, and welcome back to MicroStrategy's Mobile App Developer Academy. This course is entitled Photo Uploader Widget. I'll present the steps necessary to allow mobile users to upload pictures and photos with the help of the Photo Uploader Widget. This widget provides you with a mecha <clears throat> this widget provides you with a mechanism for taking photos with your mobile device or selecting pictures from your photo library and uploading them to the mobile server. This functionality requires MicroStrategy Transaction Services, which is an add-on product to the Intelligent Server. The Photo Uploader widget is often used in collaboration with the Image Viewer widget, which can be used to display uploaded pictures in another document. Using MicroStrategy Desktop, MicroStrategy Web, and MicroStrategy Mobile, I'll create two reports with the required structure, a transaction report that will serve as a basis for submitting the picture, and a query report, which will be a data set of the document and basis for the photo uploader widget's template. Let's look at an example of this widget in action. In this application, an inspector visits stores and rates various aspects, such as customer interaction, housekeeping or merchandise display, defines actions required, enters comments, and adds pictures. When you tap on Add Photo, you can take a new photo or choose a photo from your library. Let's add a photo. I tap Use, and now I can add a caption. Once all the fields are filled in, I tap on Submit Changes. If I go to the History tab, I can view the inspection history, which includes information that I've just submitted. Let's now learn how to build a photo uploader widget. The photo uploader widget is based on two components, an underlying grid that serves as a template for the widget and a transaction report that saves the photo's names, location, and additional information to the data source. The creation of the photo uploader widget in this demo requires performing these four steps. First, you need to create a table that will initiate the widget and insert 10 default blank records. Such a table must be created in the database, the location we want to store information about pictures. Additionally, it should be added as the project table to the MicroStrategy project. To do this, let's open the warehouse catalog and add the table to the project. Then you need to update the schema. I'll now create a query report. In Desktop, create a new report and choose Freeform Sources tab. Check the Create a Freeform SQL Report box and select the database instance. In our case, the database instance is called MPT underscore Survey QA. In the upper pane, insert the following text. Select Photo underscore Location, Photo underscore Description, Photo underscore ID, photo underscore flag from photo. Map with four respective objects. You need at least one attribute with the following forms, ID, location, and description, and one metric. Right click in the lower section and select add new attribute form. Type any object name for the attribute, FF underscore photo for instance, and map column number one as the attribute form name location. You need to repeat the same steps for columns number two and three. The attribute name is still FF underscore photo, but column number two will be mapped as the description form and column number three will be mapped as the ID form. Finally, we need to map column number four as a metric named FF underscore photo underscore flag. The path where the image file is stored and the image's description are text values, so we must ensure that the data type for the location and description forms is set to text. The ID form and the metric are always numeric values, so their data type is set to number. After entering all the necessary data, let's run and save that report. I'll call it Query Report. Third, we'll create the transaction report. Create a new report and choose Freeform Sources tab. Check the Create Transaction Report box and select the database instance. 
right click in the upper blank area and select insert transaction to insert begin transaction and end transaction statements. Between the two statements, enter this SQL statement. We need to map columns mentioned in the statement with respective objects. Right-click the blank area next to the bracket after the values word and select Define New Input, and then Attribute Form. Enter the name for the photo underscore location column, for example, TRS underscore photo underscore location, and change the data type to text. Repeat those steps to create one more attribute and one metric. Then, create an output object on the Output Objects tab, which might be used to verify if the transaction ended with success. Right-click the blank area and choose Add a Metric. We can name it TRS underscore Output, for example. Save the report, and let's call it Transaction Report. The fourth and final step is to create the document for the iPhone or iPad. Insert the first query report as a grid in the document. The attribute forms of the photo must be displayed on the query report in the correct order or else the upload will fail. Right click the grid and select properties. In the Widget tab, in the Widget drop-down selector, select iPhone, iPad, and Photo Uploader. Edit the document in MicroStrategy Web. Right-click the grid and select Configure Transaction. In the Select Transaction window, navigate to select your transaction report and click OK. Match the transaction input with the grid objects. For all of them, check the editable box, even if the only field that is actually editable, while also entirely optional, is photo description. The control style of the inputs doesn't matter. You can choose text fields, for instance. Insert a selector, action button, and target the widget. In the top menu, choose Insert, Selector, and choose Action Selector button, and add the selector to the document. Right-click the selector and choose Properties and Formatting. On the Selector tab, check that the grid is defined as a target. On the Selector tab, you need to define the subsequent action type, which will be performed after tapping on the button. In our case, we'll keep it the Submit option. Additionally, you can set a message that will be displayed after submission. For instance, thank you for submitting a picture. However, it is not mandatory to do so. Save the document. I will quickly add some components and change the formatting of the document to improve its visual appeal when displayed on the iPad. Let's save the document once again and then see the results on the iPad. Let's submit a picture. As we've seen in the Store Inspector example, you can create a document where the uploaded pictures will be displayed. This can be done using the Image Viewer widget. As proof that the transaction was successful and the picture has been uploaded, we will run and analyze the results of the query report, which we created earlier. As we can see, the photo that we have selected with the Photo Uploader widget has been successfully submitted and information about it is stored in the photo table in the database. In this video, you have learned how to upload the photo with the Photo Uploader widget on iPad. 
using Photo Uploader widget combined with the Image Viewer widget is really a good practice to allow users to upload and then view photos they've uploaded easily. And that's a wrap for this model course on the Photo Uploader widget. <music>